Hi, this is Jordan Fessler at Variant Studios in Old Town, Fort Collins, Colorado, and today I'm going to show you something cool. Hi, this is Jordan Fessler from Variant Studios, and today's tutorial is on Wonderlist, which is a free and easy task management tool. You could use this tool with Windows or Mac, as well as download it for your iPhone or Android. It's extremely useful because it helps you organize everything and boost your daily productivity, no matter what needs to be done from a shopping list to projects and to-dos. You can also use Wonderlist everywhere and manage your tasks while you're on the go. Finally, you can share with others by sharing your tasks and lists with your friends and colleagues by email or inviting them to join you in Wonderlist. Now let's get started. Go to wonderlist.com, enter in your email and password that you wish to use, and click this gray register now button. You're now in your inbox. Here you can add tasks and you can see that they are, have already given me a few to do's. They're like mini tutorials built in. The first is showing me how I can edit a task I have already created. To do this, just double click the task. You could see you could re-enter in new information and click enter. Once you've done a task, you can click this box next to it here. And you can see that then the task is moved down to this recently done and grayed out as well as striked out. You can press N or T to create a new task. So by clicking N, you can see it brings my cursor up here and I could create a new task. Click enter, and you can see that that task or to do is now at the bottom of my list. You could press F to search for tasks. So by pressing F, you could see my cursor now goes to the far right over here. And you could search for any task or to do that you have put in your wonder list. You could also change your background at the bottom bar. So go to this pointing up arrow at the bottom right. You could see that you could choose your background here. Once you have what you like, you can keep it there. And you could also press L to add a new list. So by pressing L to the far right, you can see that it highlights this new list for me and I could title it accordingly. Now that I'm in my new list, I can also add tasks up here. So I'm gonna add in a few things that I need to pack. And if ever I want to make one of these tasks more important than the others, I can press the star to the left of the title. I could also add notes to my tasks to the far right by clicking this paper icon. And click this blue save button. You can see now that when I look at my task, there is a starred icon here, which prioritizes it, as well as a paper icon over here. If I want to see what I wrote, I just click that paper icon and it shows me here. If you ever want to schedule to do, like if you want it done today, tomorrow, the next seven days or later, go ahead and click this clock icon here. I'm going to go ahead and schedule this for tomorrow. Now let's go back to all my inbox tasks. Go ahead and click this all right here. And you can see that it's now showing me my packing list and my inbox list. Once you have more than one list, you can press up or down to step through your list more quickly. So if I wanted to just go to my inbox, but want to quickly switch my packing, I just press down and now it's my packing. You could also create a new list by clicking the blue add list button at the bottom and click enter. I'm going to go ahead and also schedule this one. I'm going to click this clock here, and I'm going to choose for it to be done by Friday. Now I'm going to go back to my inbox list, and you could also press backspace to delete a selected list. So I'm going to go ahead and create a list that I don't really care for. If I ever want to delete this list, all I have to do is click delete or backspace and then confirm. If you ever need reminding of all these hotkeys that I just showed you, go ahead and click H and you'll see that this help dialog box will pop up. 
Now I want to show you what these three buttons down here are for. If you click all, it'll show me all my to do or tasks. If I want to just see the ones I've starred, I click the button right next to it and it shows me only the task or to do's that I've starred. And this check next to it shows my tasks that have been done. There's also these buttons here. They're pretty self-explanatory, so if I click today, it'll show me if I have any tasks that are due today. If I click tomorrow, it'll do the same thing. Here it shows when I scheduled to pack my dress for tomorrow. The next seven days, it'll show me that I have the dress and the Wonderlist tutorial. It also has a later option and to-dos that I never set a date to. If you ever want to edit your account, go ahead and click your email to the far left. Go to settings, and then all the way up at the top, you can see that there's an account option. Here you could delete your account or edit your account. Under edit your account, you could change your email or your password. You can also, under settings, choose a language, a date format, and invite your friends. You could also choose where you want this sidebar here to be shown. If you want to switch it to the left side, go ahead and click sidebar position, choose left, and click save. You can see that the, everything is now reversed. If you ever want to hide this sidebar, go ahead and click this double arrow down here and that hides your sidebar. To open it, click the same button. Finally, I can print off my tasks with this button at the far top right. You can also email your tasks or share your tasks with the cloud app. I always have to create lists and to-dos for myself to remember anything and to stay, stay more organized. Wonderlist is a great tool to use online, and I love that I can access it on my phone as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope you got something useful out of it, and please stay tuned for more videos to come. What are you still doing here? Why are you still here? The tutorial's over. You should probably go and try it out now. Alright, well, I'm, I'm gonna go. <laughs>